do you want to really become the data analyst in 2025 then here is the great road map for you guys in just 90 days you can become a data analyst and you can easily get a job irrespective of your background whether you are coming from it role or non it role or if you have a background degree of related to data analytics or data science or aml whatever it might be you can become the data analyst if you have a proper skill set so that's why skill set is very important for a data analyst irrespective of their degree so in this video i will share you all the skill set you are required for and before that i would like to tell you this is really data analyst is still the demanding role in the market if i need to say i will always say yes why because from the fact companies like meta facebook and google to the startups level or mid scale companies all need data analyst for sure to organize the data and to give the business insights what they want to for example take the example of flipkart for example flipkart will do a sales right so they will have a sales data so the data analyst role is they will fetch the data and they will analyze it and they will give the insights to the team such that how the sales are going or which product is selling more and which product we have to market more or whether the marketing investment is going in a proper way or not whether we are investing the marketing things in a right product or not and for example in which region or in the india in some villages or some areas in which area some products are going well and some are not going well and whether we have to invest this much for the marketing or not all these are responsible by the data analyst so what he will do is he will convert complex data into actionable business insights and also he will simplify some useful data format and also they are strategy advisors to the company so they will make the sense of the data right so that they will know what are the actions we need to take to grow more so this is the entire role will taken care by the data analyst and what are the skill set we require so this is what we need to focus on this video right so i will give you guys complete 90 days road map based on the spn strategy or spn method the first s is nothing but skip so what are the skill set we need to have as a great data analyst see there is a bunch of tools and everyone will say but remember you don't have to be like stick to any one skill you have to learn the entire skill set of data analyst then only you will become a great and you will get a job lot of people will do what they will do is is a the data analyst syllabus they will prepare two to three topics and they will go for the interviews and they will get fit why because data analyst means you don't have to know like 20% 30% of the syllabus you have to know 100% syllabus then only you will call as a proper data analyst they can't risk their company in your hands right so you need to know from a to z and in this video i am talking about only data analyst there is a different roles also like data engineer data scientist and everything so there is a huge difference between those roles in the market so in this video i am only talking about data analyst role, okay so data analyst first they need to know the first skill you need to adopt is excel so in the excel you need to start with the formulas and you have to learn about we look up and pivot tables charts visualization in the excel and dax all this basic to advanced level excel you need to know first so in excel you can access the data of from hundreds to thousands of or some kind of between lakh number of data you can access but if it is beyond that we have other software tools also to handle millions or billion number of data entries so for the basic data information you can use excel okay after excel the second thing i will suggest is sql so actually sql is the one of the important query language you need to know why because as a data analyst you need to grab the data from the databases and all and you need to uh, make it like into the tables and you have to clean that and you have to validate the data and for all these things you have to handle with the database so in order to do that sql is very important so for this practice either mysql or postgresql and you need to know about basic and advanced keywords or query 
keywords you need to learn like select and where keyword and all these things you need right join group by a lot of keywords were there so you need to know about all these things so once you are good with excel and sql things then you have to go for statistics or probability and statistics and probability is the one of the crucial part for the data analyst rules why because when you are creating or visually creating the data you sometimes you need to use these formulas like mean median mode or regressions and the statistics and in probability some formulas was there so you need to use all these things when you are plotting the charts or visual representation and after this if the data is beyond the number of like huge data i can't say like million trillion like that but i can say it's if it's a company having a huge data that excel can't handle then you have to learn the other software called either tableau or power bi so tableau or power bi is one of the powerful tools they can access with a huge data so what are the work you did in excel almost similar work you will do in the power bi or tableau but the data handling will be more that's it so that's why you need to be very strong at excel so that you will become a more flexible in tableau and power bi as so that the data will be different but the techniques you will use and everything will be same so this is a complete road map for to become a data analyst but if you want to increase your chances to go beyond for example if you are going with the health side or finance side or sales side or marketing side these insights are okay and these are the knowledge is okay but if you want to go beyond the technical side and if you want to increase your number of chances and number of roles to get selected then you have to definitely go for the technical side which is nothing but you have to learn either python or r language so that you can design the things more better way by using the modules they have so rather than r programming language i will always suggest python to go why because the usage of the python is very simple the syntax is very simple to learn hardly within the 15 to 25 days if you work for 2 to 3 hours per day you can learn the python so i suggest python to go with so that you have to learn like some modules like pandas matplotlib scientificit and seaborn if you learn these type of the things they will be very useful for data visualization things and nft so if you want to increase your area to work broad area then learn python at last and give the priority to these things okay so first one is excel the second one is sql you need to learn and next statistics next visualization softwares like power bi or tableau and after completion of this go to the technical side that is python or r programming language with this four also you can go to the non tech related data list roles but if you want to handle or if you want to go to the corporate companies with a technical background also you can go with the these things okay in spn strategy the second one is p p is nothing but portfolio or projects so now it's time to build the project and in order to get away from the classic cycle no experience no job no job no experience right so in order to break this classic cycle i always suggest the students to go with projects and portfolio first you have learned sql and excel right so create a dashboard or create a project and take the data set from kaggle or anything and switch into the excel and by using S- sql and do the data visualization and present and save it in your github profile and the second thing we have is project 2 based on power bi or tableau so project 1 you will read on sql and excel and the second project you will do it in power bi or tableau which is nothing but data representation and also after learning the python creating portfolio set and push that into your github so likewise if you do the projects and you have to sit for like 15 to 20 days on the so for learning if you spend 45 days remaining 15 days please spend on these portfolio building and projects building and a rest of the time you have to invest on last hour that is resume and networking which is nothing but you have to create your resume the third one is n and is nothing but networking so networking is the one of the important key thing to get more number of job opportunities so always improve your networking and resume the skills so that you will get a huge bandwidth to get into selected into the companies 
so first do your resume optimization and upload it in the linkedin and in the linkedin also post your projects what you did in project 1 project 2 and also publish your portfolio and push the github links in the linkedin so all these things you will do so people will watch you around you and they will also get impressed with your profile and slowly in network also grows right so with that network you can apply for the different companies or not these are the crucial three step method we will follow first one is skill for the skill give up to 45 days to 50 days and for the projects and all give around 10 to 15 days and for the networking give another last 10 days so that it will definitely help you guys to get into place into data list what are the background you have doesn't matter whether you are from it student non it student or if you are a non it working professional whatever it might be everyone will become a data list if you they properly prepared in this for i hope this video will help you guys in order to get more videos like this in our channel subscribe to prepinist